Ethiopia, an ancient land in the Horn of Africa. The birthplace of humankind. A country distinguished by its ancient history, diverse cultures and unique biodiversity. A country where coffee Arabica has its origins. A country which maintained its independence over thousands of years and is now a politically stable and fast developing democracy. A fast growing economy bolstered by constructive government policies. Historically, Ethiopia is known as the home of some of the world's greatest ancient civilizations, such as the Axumite Empire and the Kingdom of Lalabella. Unique in many aspects, the Axumite civilization was characterized by its military prowess, economic prosperity, and architectural ingenuity. Lalabella, with its churches carved from the solid rock, is rightly acknowledged to be one of the wonders of the world. Though renowned for its historic civilizations and culture, over the millennia, poverty and drought have threatened Ethiopia's very survival, shaken Ethiopians' otherwise stubborn pride, and have posed serious challenges to the continuity of the nation. Today, the country is undergoing a process of revival once again. Ethiopia is an agrarian economy. More than 80% of the population is engaged in agriculture. The government and people of Ethiopia are jointly committed to making poverty history. Over the past two decades, the battle against poverty and underdevelopment has been vigorously joined. For a nation mired in poverty and facing cyclical bouts of drought and famine, the struggle has not been easy. The incumbent government in Ethiopia clearly recognizes the challenges ahead. Though resources are scarce and skilled manpower is limited, the government believes that with the right policies in place, Ethiopia has a bright future. Yes, our plan is, is, is ambitious, but it is uh, feasible. It is possible to achieve it. And, and, and therefore, the thing now is not to um, nitpick about this in that particular aspect of the plan. Uh, the thing to do now uh, is to build on it and, and, and push uh, the uh, issue of the implementation of the plan as far and as fast as we possibly can. If at the end of the five-year plan we have achieved parts of it, or achieved other parts, um, then that's fine, because we will have made our best efforts. Uh, we don't have to fulfill every uh, paragraph in the plan for us to, be full to feel satisfied uh, with, with the implementation of the plan. If the basic uh, parameters, basic objectives are achieved. In the struggle for development, mobilizing all available resources for building the country's infrastructure is absolutely crucial. Over the last two decades, striking improvements have been registered in the country's overall infrastructure. When we talk about uh, national ownership and leadership and African leadership of its own development. Ethiopia is unique in terms of never having been colonized, it was occupied only for a few years, and therefore in terms of its perspective and views, again, a unique contribution to provide. From an economic point of view, Ethiopia is estimated by the IMF and by the Econ Economist Intelligence Unit 
to be one of the 10 fastest growing economies in the world in the next five years. Indeed, according to some estimates, it will be number three after only uh, China and India in terms of global growth. We can expect a growth of over 8%. Fundamental to the struggle for development is the provision of a sustainable and adequate power supply. To this end, the government of Ethiopia has given much attention to the construction of hydropower plants. What has been achieved so far is nothing short of remarkable. In the past five years alone, the government has succeeded in building five hydroelectric power generating stations. Boosting the power generating capacity of the nation from 300 megawatts to more than 2000 megawatts. When the Ethiopian Grand Renaissance Dam, with a power generating capacity of 6,000 megawatts, and Gibe 3, with a power generating capacity of over 1,800 megawatts, are both completed, Ethiopia's power generating capacity will have reached 10,000 megawatts. The government has an unshakable belief in the capabilities of the Ethiopian people. The people who erected the obelisks of Aksum, carved the churches of Lalabella, and who mobilized armies which defended the independence of the country and the freedom of its people. Ethiopians have done what seemed at the time to be impossible and there is no reason why they should not repeat their remarkable history again and again. Unlike the construction of the three dams, Dana Bellis multi-purpose hydropower plant, the Tekeze hydropower dam and the Gibe II, the Renaissance dam is fully financed by Ethiopia's own resources. The huge 80 billion bur project is financed by the Ethiopian government and contributions from the public. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital, is the diplomatic capital of Africa and the permanent seat of the African Union, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and many more continental and international organizations. Tourist arrivals in Ethiopia, with its wonderful scenery and historic and cultural attractions, are increasing year on year. Ethiopia is a country of, of secrets. There are so many old um, buildings, monuments, temples, churches that clearly um, mankind must have started in Ethiopia. And for me, Ethiopia is probably one of the world's best kept secrets because we've seen hardly any tourists which surprises us because um, in the main the country uh, you can be here on a very low budget um, the the people the food the support here is amazing um, if you don't want to travel for hours on a bus ethiopian airlines is one of the best airlines i've traveled with um, so my message is, come to Ethiopia while you can. This process has been greatly assisted by massive improvements in the country's infrastructure. 
with improved supply in the capital, infrastructure and hotels, the last five to six years have witnessed a substantial increase in conference tourism. It is believed that by 2020, Ethiopia will be among the top five tourist destinations in Africa. The attractive investment climate is promoting an economic boom in the country. Over the last five years in particular, the role of the private sector in the economy has grown significantly. Opportunities are wide open, not only for local but also for international businesses. Whenever any company comes to Ethiopia, the, the agreement is that they focus on building the capacity of Ethiopians so that, uh, especially in inf infrastructure development, we focus on transfer of technology and as well as local capacity building, which is uh, central for our future uh, development. We cannot always depend on uh, foreign uh, country, uh, so we need to have our own local capacity. So we focus on local capacity building uh, in our engagement with uh, China or India or any other uh, emerging economies. So I think we have a very cordial relationship and that will continue for the future as well and in a win-win manner. Favourable conditions are already in place for those who wish to engage in industry, agriculture, real estate, education and other areas. Ethiopia really is the land of opportunities. Matonaga can go in Goritaki, Molande. A wee way, a wee way. Matonaga can go in Arajun, Yagayem.